was just on another planet. So, I'm about to get on a flight to go to Houston. I'm gonna be out here for an entire month. I'm gonna be crazy. We mad late for the flight. But hopefully we make it, if not, no big deal. No big deal. We'll figure it out. I guess it's part of it. So yeah. So basically, we just got to the Airbnb we're gonna be staying at, and we're just settling in a bit. But I wanna talk a little bit about why I started creating these vlogs. And more importantly, I started creating these vlogs because it's less about me and it's more about you. I know in the art space, just the art industry as a whole, everyday artists like myself and thousands of artists out there don't get the opportunity at success because they simply don't have no way to get there. No one is teaching how to sell your artwork and become an independent artist. And that's what I wanna focus on. I wanna focus on motivating and encouraging and educating everyday artists like you that's watching this video and basically just show you that it's possible to become successful in this industry. You don't need the big name galleries, collectors, or critics to do so. You know, to this point, I've worked with over 200 artists and I have some artists that's making over six figures per year. I actually share some screenshots on the screen of some of their results here. But I'm saying that to say, I want you to watch this just to know that you can accomplish whatever it is you want to do. You know, I feel like I'm the underdog just in my space because I know there's bigger people that do what I do. But still to this day, I feel like there's no one with the same results that I provide for artists I work with. And more importantly, I like to cater to those who are also underdogs. They don't come from big families that have the financial gains to get into these big galleries and just communicate and get in contact with known people in the industry. So I want to focus on those who come from, I guess you could say poverty, or just everyday life and show you that you can be successful in the art space. So with that being said, enjoy the rest of the vlog. So, I don't want to move my mask too much, but got to make some groceries for these next 30 days out here in Houston. <laughs> I got it. Like I was saying, gonna make groceries for the next 30 days in Houston. So we don't have to leave the bubble anymore. We decided to call the place that we stand at the bubble. So we don't leave anymore. So yeah. And we're gonna come back. Start from the back, work your way forward. So yeah. What's going on? Nothing much. Take this time to really ask every single question that comes to mind that you probably typically don't ask. Maybe a question you may think is a bad question. A question that you may say is not even that important. Ask those questions now so we can really dig, in, dig deep into them and I can literally help you as much as possible while we're here. But this is what you really want to do. You really want to just take things out of this context completely. And when you do that, People would no longer make the um, correlation to a mug and instead they'll look at it as a simple piece of art. And then when you have it as an art, because art has no value and it's only perceived value, that's how you get to um, raise that mug from being 130 to let's say 200, right? So, 
It's currently 5.01 a.m. in the morning. I'm about to get a jog in. Then me and my team are going to get straight to working. I thought it was important for me to share this information with you guys and just let you see everything from start to finish because just being a successful person, uh, being successful in your area, so creating art and being successful at that, it actually starts outside of the art. It starts outside of just selling artwork online. And success starts in your everyday routine. I just want to give you guys a glimpse of my everyday routine as well on this road to 1000 so the road to 1000 is just helping 1000 artists become financially independent without the need of galleries collectors or critics and make a full-time living from selling their artwork online but in order to do that it starts with the small things first so you guys gonna see me catch this jogging and then you're gonna see me get to work and then we're just gonna go from there Just got done with the first run and really realized how much I need to start working out again. We had a plan to do a couple miles, honestly. Just being completely up front, you guys. We won't even know if we completed one. We gonna retry this again tomorrow. Shit. No problem. So your mommy asking, where you actually located? I'm in London. In oh, oh you in the UK? Yeah, actually, I got quite a few artists in the UK, so that's pretty that's pretty exciting. How much would you like to be earning per month? And we thinking out a year from now. Yeah, so I actually think five thousand dollars per month is actually a really really good goal. Most artists will actually aim for like one or two thousand dollars per month, which is just not feasible, especially in today's time. $5,000 I think is a good goal starting out and then once you get to a number like $5,000 per month then you can start to raise that goal and aim for higher numbers afterwards you know I once came up with an idea called the wow factor and basically what a wow factor is is just something that you do with your artwork or just any entire process that automatically draws attention to whatever it is that you do you know, the idea of a wow factor came from me thinking I wanted to create artwork that gets the attention of a three-year-old and just make them say wow, like it's breathtaking, it's attractive, it's just mind-blowing. Now, the wow factor don't only occur just with your artwork, but it occurs in everyday marketing. So like right now, I'm working on an ad, and you're most likely gonna probably see this ad if you watch this video as well, but I'm working on an ad and in this ad, I have to think about what's my wow factor. And you guys are going to see exactly what I'm talking about pretty, pretty soon. I just want to say first of all thank you if you made it this far it means the world to me and hopefully by now you didn't already click that subscribe button if it's showing up right here Rainbow put the subscribe button here and for those who are not subscribed at this point definitely subscribe because it's more than me just showing a vlog of my dental life but more importantly inspiring other artists out there that don't come from big families that have a lot of income or well connected to collectors and start making those sales I just want to show you that no matter what position you in you could become successful as an independent artist and I know that's not many or even anyone out there really sharing the information that I'm sharing to help artists like yourself to start making those consistent sales. So it means a lot to me just to have you here watch this video at this moment. And also I just want to say there's going to be much more content coming soon. We're going to be uploading at least four to five times a week. And it's not going to just be vlogs but also valuable information because what's most important for me 
I apologize for the cars past and but what's most important for me is just that you simply get the knowledge that you need to get to that next level as an artist. So with that being said, see you next time.